What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my worm farm. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I prep my worm bins for the winter. This is my first year, so I, there's a lot of trial and error, and I wanted to buy some more worms, but I was just scared about the winter. I'm here in Oklahoma and it does get down into the teens, and we haven't really seen any single digits. This has kind of been a warm winter, but so far my worms have been doing great, and I'm gonna show you guys what I did to, to prep the worm bins. I was scared to buy more worms because I have about $1,200 invested into them right now with my whole setup. I didn't want to keep buying worms and a bunch of them die off during the winter. So I wanted to make sure to see if I, if I could last through the winter. That's basically the hardest season for me. So, so far my worms have been doing great. I'll let you guys see my setup and see what I'm working with. All right, it's winter time and been kind of having a problem keeping my worms warm. So I went ahead and for this next harvest, I made some double bins. As you can see, I got a bin inside of a bin. I stacked together and I put some insulation all the way around the first bin. And then I have about soil and some bedding up to about right there. I went ahead and put my second bin in. I had to put some screen on it because I have it in this tire shed and I'm having a problem with or was having a problem with mice getting in my worm bin. I don't have this lid all the way on. I just have it kind of over the top, keep the mice out, also keep some, also keep some moisture in. But I got these seeding heat mats off of Amazon and they're really doing the trick on keeping my worms warm all winter. See like right now it's 66 over on the side. Got some worms right there up top. See, it's 94. And you can see that there was worms all up on top, that they were <clears throat> right there in the area where it was 94. Then over here on the side, I mean, if it's, my theory was is <clears throat> if it gets too hot or if it gets too warm, and you know, I just have them in this one area, so they can always come over here. See, it's 54 over here. But this is what I'm running. I went ahead and reduced down to just one bin for the winter. I was running two bins, but I went ahead and did, I'm just doing one bin now. I got these seeding heating mats. As you can see, I got some worms right up here up top. I got my dry amendments up top. The heating pads, they do dry it out. They dry out the top a little bit faster, so you got to go ahead and be sure and check it. I mean, there's moisture still down here, but it dries out the the soil, dries out the compost a lot faster, so I have to water a lot more frequently. But you can see right in here where it's moist, there's a lot of worms still. I've been feeding I've been feeding them in these corners, on these edges. I even got some food in the center, just kind of putting it in different places and then, you know, testing it out. But this here is a, a papaya that they've been eating on. You can see there's a lot of worms right there where that papaya was at. There's an avocado. See all those worms that was in that avocado. I had a big batch of avocados go bad on me, so went ahead and feeding them to the worms, and they are loving it. You can see how thick they are right there in that corner where I've been feeding at. They also like to get against this bin on this side right here. See, look at all those worms. It's another avocado. I 
one of my biggest things was is I wanted to keep reproducing my worms throughout the winter. They say whenever it gets cold, your worms really slow down. If it gets too cold, that they die off. But I wanted to keep producing castings and also keep reproducing all of my worms because I'm trying to get my worm count up so I can expand and, you know, and grow, get larger, and, and be able to produce more castings. I need more worms. So the best way to make that happen is, is to have your worms producing all throughout the year. So this winter, this winter was one of my biggest challenges, but it's definitely working out with the setup I have right now. There's some more of those avocados. I had this whole edge right here full of avocados and you can see that they were tearing it up. But it's about time to feed again. And what I'm gonna start doing is, and you see how I have these clumps right now? Like I have these big pieces of avocados, I have these big pieces of apples. Uh, instead of just putting in big pieces, what I'm gonna do is, so I went ahead and blended up all of my scraps. So this here is some avocados, some dragon fruit peelings, some asparagus, and a little bit of green beans and what i'm going to do is is i'm going to put all this all through here and then this here is all of my eggshells that i've been saving for over the oh for about a month and the way I got my eggshells like this is I just go ahead and save my eggshells right before I get ready to use them. Put them in the microwave for like five minutes and then I blend them down. I add some water so it will be like pasty so it doesn't take as long to, to break down. So you can see that's all my eggshells. A lot of people talk about how it takes so long for eggshells to break down. So I'm going to go ahead and just blend them up. Like I said, I, I use a little bit of water for all of this stuff too. As you can see, it's just some, some paste. It's not going to take the worms no time to break it down. Look, there's already a worm checking it out. So I have that, and I'm just going to go ahead and put some of these egg carts over it. And I'm going to cover it back up. As you can see, my castings are looking pretty good. I have about another month and a half and go ahead and get a harvest. I might go ahead and wait a little bit longer on this harvest. But yeah, that's it. Have these thermometers here. They don't really work too good. I just turn it up as high as, high as it can get. I stick this down in the end where it's still kind of a cooler temperature. That way I can get my heating mats as hot as they can. Like I said, it's been getting down pretty cold. So that's it right there. That's my winter setup.